गाइस दिस इज मी गजानन एंड टुडे वी विल अंडरस्टैंड फॉर गुड फास्ट फूड इन पीएचपी सो बिफोर टू स्टार्ट फर्स्ट आई वांट टू शो यू अ क्विक डेमो एंड देन वी विल राइट अ कोड सो हियर इज अ सिंपल फॉर गुड फास्ट फूड स्क्रिप्ट व्हेन यू एंटर योर ईमेल एड्रेस एंड रीसेट सो इट शोज यूजर नॉट फाउंड सो व्हेन आई एम पुटिंग करेक्ट ईमेल एड्रेस मींस दिस ईमेल एड्रेस मींस यूजर आर एग्जिस्ट uh uh of this email okay so reset so it will send a uh, email to my email address okay so let me check inbox so currently this is empty when uh, we refresh you can see router gphp tutorial and uh, password recovery okay and here uh, is the link when you click you can see you can reset your password whatever you want okay so and this is a, a database table and only one user is exist currently so uh, you have a seen a uh, demo uh, now we will write a code uh, to do uh, forgot password uh, in php so i'm using a php mailer mm, yeah this one I'm using PHP mailer uh, for sending SMTP mails. Okay, so you need to create a project uh, like this. Let me zoom in. Okay, so you have to create a project inside in your uh, XAMPP and WAMP anything uh, anywhere. Okay. and inside in your project you have to type uh, cmd cmd like this and first we need to install a php mailer right so what we have to do just go to here and here are the composer command to install php mailer which is this one and paste it here and hit enter so it will take a little bit time to download a php mailer mailer class from github so we have to wait so guys as you have a seen uh, generating auto load files it means your php mailer library successfully installed in our project right so this command uh, uh, automatically uh, automatically uh, will create uh, this uh, vendor folder and uh, inside all the files in folder it will also uh, it it uh, comes from uh, this command okay so we don't need to create a, a vendor and a composer com php mailer and auto loader php okay then you have to create a db.php let me show you db.php let's little bit zoom in and here is simply i have put put it a uh, local host Uh, means username uh, username password my password is blank and this is a tutorial database so let me show you tutorial database this is a tutorial database and inside it has a table sign up right so now uh, what we have to do so connection has been uh, done using this uh, command mysql underscore connect oh sorry uh, if it has a error it will show uh, something uh, Uh, error message and if it is successfully connected it will uh, nothing it will show okay so this is for uh, connecting to database so let me close this one and guys uh, one more important thing i, I want to tell you uh, source code will be available in a video description so just concentrate on uh, concentrate on uh, understanding okay and then you have to create a index.php file and let me show you uh, each and every line of code so you will understand so this this line of code is very important because we are using php mailer right so this command is for it will make available availability of php mailer right it means your php mailer is available okay and uh, let me close this one and here i am using a bootstrap bootstrap 3 3.3 point 7 okay so important important things i will i will show you in this file uh, which is very very important right so i am validating emails whatever user will type from here let me show you 
whatever email you will type uh, it will uh, validate it using filter war and uh, filter send as email right and uh, if it is not validated with so a message your email address is not valid then we will uh, get uh, the data from sign up table which is this one select all from sign up where email is equals to email whatever email user will type right and then mysql query and it will go mysql i underscore num underscore rows it will give the number of rows right if it founds right so if uh, nothing it will found it will show user not found right and error this is uh, so the error message which is this one and uh, this one right and output is currently blank and if user is found then uh, generate a random key random password uh, random key right uh, guys uh, one more thing i forgot it uh, there is a two tables let me refresh this is a tutorial and there is a two tables sign up and uh, password underscore reset underscore tamp right so let me show you so this will generate a random key and random key is this one let me show you this is right a five three nine nine seven something here to here so this is a temporary uh, random code it will generate this one and then it will insert inside a random key with email right so this is key mail uh, key and this is mail and this is expiration date so this lineup code is for uh, your uh, your key means this key let me show you mm, yeah forgot password reset and this is key this key will expire in 24 hours right so this lineup code is for expiring your uh, key means temporary key right and if it is inserted right if if the data means uh, uh, password reset underscore temp if it inserted right means this data has been goes to mysql table which is here it will show it will send an uh, email to the user right so here is the template uh, i'm making please click on the following link to reset your password which is this one yeah this one okay and this is link where user click right here and uh, with keys whatever key we will insert inside database and that uh, same key we, we are also sending to a email uh, to the particular uh, user right so this is for that right okay and then this is subject and uh, mail to whatever uh, user will type from here from here okay so let me uh, show you quickly a uh, php mailer uh, class so I, I am creating it here uh, object of php mailer and then you have to type your uh, uh, smtp username password and host name so host name is here right so if you don't know what is host name what is username and what is password of your smtp don't worry please write a comment i will help you right so this this information uh, you will uh, get from your c panel and uh, from your gmail right so you can use host name my host name is mail dot dot g dot in and uh, this is a username this is my email address right and here will be your password i have removed so guys i have removed my password for security purpose because i'm making videos and port number is 587 right and this is from email and from email is exactly this one let me show you from email show full header not from 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 yeah this one support at the rate dot org dot in okay and this is from name from name whatever you will type right this will uh, shows from here mm, yeah this one this is subject yeah from name from name is name uh, let me show you 
yeah this went from name rathorji php tutorial and uh, i have replaced it to rathorji then subject and message and add messages right so everything is very simple uh, okay and here is the form uh, user will enter their email address for resetting uh, their passwords right so let me uh, show you once user uh, yeah this one once user click on this link i mean this link right it will redirect to reset days password dot php right so this is the file so let me show you uh, reset days password dot php that file so which file is this one yeah this one let me drag and drop it here and let me zoom in so here also i have added the push step 3 right so this is for template for making a nice html uh, pages nice layout and anything is easy using push step right no doubt then uh, we are uh, getting this key and this email right so if this is set means something it has right in a url then we are getting key email and current date means now right so it will check it will compare this date to this date this date expiration expiration date right if it is okay means it the key is not expired right it means it is valid okay so uh, if it is not valid it shows a uh, invalid link right and uh, then we are getting uh, some data from uh, this select query and so uh, password reset temp which is this one and here is the form right if everything is okay right we are checking current date and the expiry date is okay means it is valid uh, valid key then we are showing uh, form for resetting right for updating their password so here is a simply html form right for updating uh, user uh, updating uh, new password like this uh, enter new password uh, sorry i have forgot this one mm, yeah enter password and re-enter password yeah it's okay enter password re-enter password and update tape update button right so uh, yeah and here is uh, yeah action method password and yeah this one this data is uh, coming from this form right whatever value you are typing right and we are uh, escaping a string uh, password one password two and matching if password is doesn't match uh, means uh, this password is not matched to this one we will show a message your password does not match if it is uh, matched we are updating user table right we are updating user table new password and uh, also we are deleting the temporary data related to this email right this user okay so pretty much we have done if you have questions and queries you can write a comment i'm here to help you so thanks for watching bye bye have a nice day